Howdy everybody, I'm Bagman, and welcome to part 9 of Lifeless Planet. I never went to this giant crater, so I went to this giant crater now. Now we're going to see what it is. I didn't get a chance to try the tightrope again, but that's okay. Ooh, something for me to read. Oh, Julius Day. Huge meteorite! Initial analysis of meteor indicates non-typical or terrestrial meteors. Upon further investigation, the meteor appears to be part of a highly engineered vehicle. Okay. Or it's, it's a spaceship! Maybe Superman's on it. Our current theory is that this crater was the landing site for the advanced race that built the portals in, rela in related power structures. We've set up a research outpost on the rim of the crater, and we plan to study the site at least through next winter. Are there seasons on this planet? That's the most surprising thing there, for me. What else is here? Anything? Anything at all? Was that just a, a note I could collect? Is there more? Can I go over here? Will that way kill me? If I have to do the tightrope thing, I'll just do a jump cut until I've succeeded. You don't need to see me fail that many times. I mean, you, you see me fail all the time. I don't, I don't need my self-esteem to be lowered that much more. Huh. What is this? Am I just collecting all the secret notes? God damn it, I should have just gotten to the crater instead of trying to be a goddamn flying Grayson. I am not likely to see another day. The wounds I carry are a constant reminder of the pain. No punctuation. Stay in school, kids. Grammar. I carry... The wounds I carry are a constant reminder of the pain we have inflicted on this planet. Our original purpose here were pure and good. But maybe that is the curse of our species far from home. We cannot adapt, so we destroy. Instead of cultivating, we upset the natural order of the new world. It has always been this way, and always will be such. And there is the arrogance to think it should be any different from our generation. I am sorry, uh, Aletia. I did not see until it was too late. If my name is ever again called to mind, I hope it will be as a lesson for those who come after me. Do savendia la la la. Don't know if that was a sentence at the end. Maybe that was just maddening. What does this do? It operates the elevator that was up there as I was trying to tightrope walk and got stuck in a tube. Always just go in the giant crater whenever you see it. It doesn't matter. You know, apparently that's where your objective is found. Bah! Hey, she moved! That's good. I don't have to carry her. You know, I thought because they gave me super jump, I was gonna have to use the super jump to get... Mm. I just... Ugh. I want it to be cool and tightrope walk. Wow, she really she gunned it. Like, she went for that elevator. Man. She left green everywhere. I hate you, Tube. You and rocks are my enemy. How's it going? Oh, there's a pretty girl in the elevator. Try not to fart. Try not to fart. Try not to fart. Oh, wait, I'm in a spacesuit. It doesn't matter. Ah. Oh, wait, I'm in a spacesuit. Oh, God. Ooh. Another green platform of energy. Plants. Crayons. It really could be anything. Probably not crayons, though. Ancients. 
Are you gonna find out the mystery of the Stargates? It got creepy. Why did it get creepy? All oh, right, lifeless planet. Everything's dead except for the two of us. The Russians were studying these alien structures. What were they looking for? Probably alien stuff. Just my guess. It looks like the Russians were studying the work of the portal creators. The network of monoliths, huge power structures, and the number of walls and doors surrounding them. I still can't figure out how it all connects. Let's see. The Russians connected to the aliens. The aliens connected to the Russians. Shit, back at square one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, stairs? And this thing? Let's see. Stairs, this thing, green glowing thing. I clearly have to go over here. Don't have time for your stairs. Just drop that in there. Did it work? Did I do it? I don't know what I would have wanted to do. Make confetti? Yes, make confetti. Ooh, there's another one. I bet I have to put it in that thing. That's what she said. Oh, do I have to use my grappling arm to put it in there? It's changing up. I do! Oh, man! So many different aspects of this game. There's jumping. There's walking. There's robot arm. There's walking. There we go. Oh, hey. Do I have to push a button? Graveling arm! Obey me! I am your master! No, no. Yes. Yes. Yes! Alright, did I have to do that on the other side? No, okay, good. I'm so itchy everywhere. I have raised the tire! Now we shall set it ablaze. Or not. Just enjoy a wicked cool laser show. Woo! Laser Zeppelin! Yeah! Really, what, what did that accomplish? Do I go back up there? I'll, I'll try to go back up there, see what happens. Again, I haven't needed oxygen for a while. It hasn't been a convenient spot for me to get oxygen in the story. So... Not gonna address that, Danger Chad. You didn't see it, I bet. Uh, that she was possessed by the color green. And she just moved along the glowing highway. Can I walk on this? Is this a hard light surface? This is, this is a hard light surface. I can't be cool and just hover across it like that. But I'll just walk across it. I'll, I'll jaunt across it. That's what I would describe Danger Chance. Jogging. is It's a jaunt. You know, it's, it's light cardio. Like, his heart rate's increasing a little bit, but it's not getting really high up there. Maybe not even getting in the hundreds. Did levitating take a lot out of you? You gonna be good? Okay, I'll leave you be. That just means that I have to do something to progress the story along. Another trial and error puzzle. Okay, that one? Not that one. That one? That one? Not that one. 
That one. That one. That one! Oh, hey! I'm just gonna stay right here. You're gonna lift me up. You didn't have a bottom. You didn't lift me up. Thought you were like the tire thing. But you weren't. Okay. So we got this. So... What about this? Okay, so I move that. Over here. Oh, so I, I just gotta get these things out of the way, I guess? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Let's think of this logically. What would Danger Chad do? I'm pushing you with my mind! I'm Danger Chad! Man on the edge. Don't know why I'm on the edge, I'm an astronaut. On the edge. Push, 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 push. Why do you make such an ominous sound? What will happen when I complete this cheese wheel? Cheese wheel! Completed! Hey, I formed the tire. Another hard light bridge, I bet. It's not as cool as the Bifrost, though. Or pretty. Hey, she didn't move. She's still right- okay, there she goes. Being possessed. So... What about all this? It's another bridge, but there's a thing that I can read. Our scientists have made an amazing discovery today. We had previously believed the portal creators had abandoned this planet or had been killed by the root creatures, but we were wrong! The portal creators are merely an advanced form of the plant-like species that covers the planet. They must have colonized this world eons ago, bringing with them a variety of sister species to seed the planet and make it habitable. Eh. Eh. Hey, don't want to scroll too far. No, no. Uh, Actually, we believe the planet species are less an ecosystem of individuals and more like a dense global network. To be sure, there are some larger and some smaller species. A good variety, some large things, some small things. Oh, species. But it all... Smaller species, but it all seems to be able to communicate through the ubiquitous moss, the green fire, that is so vital to life on the planet. Considering all this and how the roots can also mimic endless, endless forms, we are clearly in the presence of a superior and extraordinary form of life. Clearly. Clearly. Well, before I cross this bridge, I'm going to have to end this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching, and tune in for part 10. No? No. This was, like, part 12 of Lifeless Planet. Tune in for part 13 of Lifeless Planet. Tune in for the next part. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Goodbye. So, uh, come here often? No? First time? Yeah, me too. Anyway, this is my floor. Uh, nice meeting you. God damn it, Danger Chad, you always blow it.